Hey guys! We're doing another Sephora Play unboxing. It is for November 2018. We have the box right here. And as usual, right now, um, still can't see, so the groom is going to help me out. Let's do some makeup. We're going to do some makeup. That's for me. It always comes in these reusable bags. Oh, they, they did a reusable bag again. So this is the third reusable bag. Nice and shiny. Uh, it says your once a month seek. What? Your once a month squeal inducing bag of amazingness is here. Wow. Wow. All right. You thought you can't read. Right now. <laughs> I can't. All right. First thing I'm going to hand you is this. And then I'm going to read what it is off of this thing of majigger here. Yeah, you do all the camera stuff. I'm no good at that. Such a terrible beauty groom. Enough. All right, so what we have there is the. Well, let me see it. If I can make sure it's what I think. Is it, it is. right yes. side up? It is the. Yes, it is right side up. It's actually in the container, the bottles inside. So that is uh, here to spray. The Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray. A leave in conditioner that prevents color fading and brassiness. Is brassiness a hair? A, I hear thing. So brassiness is when you pick up yellow or warm tones, typically with uh, a lot of blondes have this happen, sometimes brunettes as well. Redheads, not so much because you're going for the, the nice red. So this is a... Brassiness seems like a made up word. Brassiness. No, it's real. It seems like it's a of as, as a hairdresser, I've heard like a million times, like, I want this color, but I don't want to see any red. I don't want any brassiness. So I know exactly what that All is. All right. Well, I... Why it brings the cheer. Sun and pollutants are no match for this on-the-go protector. It supports hair repair and keeps strands soft and conditioned with a blend of free radical fighting antioxidants. How do you use this? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Mist through damp hair from mid blanks to ends, then comb through and style as normal. When Smell it, it. When it said this on-the-go protector, that actually doesn't smell bad. That's what like all Moroccan oil smells like. I'm glad all Moroccan oils. Like all the products they make. All right, I'm going to put... That doesn't feel like it's super greasy either, which is nice. That smells really good. All right, so right here we have the Lip Lip Hooray. It's a cream lip stain, liquid lipstick in pink tea from Sephora, part of the Sephora collection. Why it brings the... Oh, I'm sorry. A silky liquid lip stain in a nude pink shade with a matte finish. I actually know what that entire sentence means. Oh, I ripped it. Oh my god, I know what that entire sentence means. I'm proud of you. Oh. You're doing great, sweetie. What's happening to me? All right, why it brings the cheer. This high coverage liquid lip stain provides all day wear without becoming sticky or drying out. The formula is infused with avocado oil for rich, comfortable color from morning to night. How to use, honestly, if you don't know how to use liquid lipstick by now, what are you doing with your life? I mean. I know how to use liquid lipstick. I don't even wear lipstick. Start in the center of your lips and smooth outwards to the corners of your mouth. Of your mouth. Your mouth. I mean, that's pretty. What do you think? That looks like something you would wear. Yeah, that's like <gasps> pretty much up my alley, like a nice that's, nudie. That's, that's kind of close to what you're wearing now, actually. What I'm wearing is what I got in another play box. That's the, the Tarte lipstick sample, which I freaking love. And obviously I love it because it's kind of worn down a little bit. Please excuse my nails. I can't see. I'm going to do your nails. He's going to do my nails. They're going to look terrible. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell. I know. I wouldn't want you. All right. This is the... Here we go. It's still in the box. This is uh, Set the Mood Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. A shine reducing finishing powder that blurs the look of imperfections. Weren't you just shopping for powder? I did. Yeah. I've used this before. I remember stuff. I used this on our wedding day. Oh. And it's our anniversary month. Yeah. It's like they know. Yeah. 
All right, uh, this weightless powder minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines, creating a photo-ready look that will make every social post tag-worthy. No, I said that wrong. Make every social post tag-worthy. God, I can't read today. There's a protector on here, but, like, it's it's translucent. Here, here you so. want me to pull the protector No, it's okay. Up? okay. It's translucent. All right, uh, use as a last step in your makeup routine. Apply a small amount of powder to the cheek, center of the forehead, nose, and tip of the chin. The chinny chin chin. Because you don't want that shiny chin. I'm going to let this dry down a little bit and then, like, rub it to see how it actually works. Um, I never have a shiny chin. I do. I have I'm a hairy chin. I'm so oily. Okay, so this is... Look on the bright side. This is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream, a lightweight eye cream that brightens and hydrates Ooh. skin in an instant. This cream helps visibly depuff skin for a refreshed look. Plus, it peptides. Is that is that a thing? That's a thing. It peptides support natural collagen reserves that are threatened by work, family visitors, and holiday party overload, i.e., stress. So, how would you use this? Morning and night, apply a small amount around the eye area in smooth circular motions until absorbed. I think the ultimate test would be if somebody could get the bags from under my eyes. Is it just specifically an eye cream? It says lightweight eye cream. It's a Pep Start eye cream. Is there caffeine in it? Or is there caffeine in you? I have no idea. I wish there was caffeine in me. It feels nice. I kind of... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like eye creams are a conspiracy <laughs> because it's the same. Typically, it's the same Shane ingredients Dawson's that are in. Do a video Shane Dawson is quaking. Um, it's typically the same ingredients that are in like a, a all over face cream in an eye cream, but for some reason they just charge more for it. I don't use like an eye specific cream, and I've never had a problem. So yeah, you also look years younger than you actually are so thank you well, thank you it was really bad when you were like 27 and everybody thought i was dating a high, a high schooler all right survival of the smoothest this is dr jart oh dr jart so this is a man I, i'm gonna sound dumb and i'll announce or trying to pronounce this wow my english is terrible today uh, ceramidin cream? Ceramide? Ceramidin. Okay. Ceramidin. Whatever. It's a rich moisturizer that improves the appearance of fine lines, flakiness, and tightness for smooth skin. This moisturized boosting cream uses ceramides, there, there you go, to reduce, or I'm sorry, to relieve dryness and skin irritation due to environmental stressors. So when the weather outside is frightful, your skin stays so delightful. Oh. Boo. That was terrible. <laughs> I hate myself for reading. <laughs> this feels amazing, though. All right. Apply a quarter size amount morning and night to cleansed skin. It, it really does yes. feel very moisturizing. Skin is not Dr. Jart is notorious for having really, really good skin products. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of this smell. I can't quite place it, but it smells very herbally, which I don't know if that dissipates quickly because if that would linger on my skin, I feel like it would get really old really fast. All right, the label's out for that at one because it's very hard to see. It's very hard to read it, so. This is this month's bonus. It's a uh, scent from above. It's Tory Birch, Just Like Heaven. This floral citrus mix is a vivid scent composed of pure ingredients like rhubarb, mandarin, hyacinth flower, is that an actual, is hyacinth, is that, is that how you say that, flower, and ylang, ylang. Lang lang. It, there, it starts with a Y. Okay. We're in America, so okay, great. ylang, ylang. You want to smell it? Sure. It smells like actual flowers. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. All right, it's so. It's very delicate. About about the brand, Tory Burch is an American lifestyle brand that weaves inspirations from art, music, and travel into its fragrances. Meet the blend. So this is a blend of the fragrance family. The, blah, 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 blah. the fragrance family is fresh floral. God, that was a lot. That was a yeah. That was a tongue twister. Bastards. All right, top nodes is the hyacinth. Middle note 
is the heliotrope. And the base notes are a Tonka Bean Absolute. I don't know what that is, but it smells really good. I am so confused by what I just read. That's nice. Ooh, these are cute. So we've uh, let this dry down a little bit. I feel like it hasn't quite set. It's mashing all over. Yeah. The I mean, maybe it'll be different, mm -hmm. you lips. know. Yeah, because your, your hand skin is definitely different. On different. your lips than your hand skin, but we'll see. I'm about to try it. We're serious. So, um, here on the back, it's actually something pretty cool. It has a little, a bunch of little things like a holiday survival pocket guide. You can actually cut it out so you can get all this, fold all of these down. But it's a uh, five minute office makeover. Should you go to the party? Yes or no? Um, the other one is how bold should you go? And it's actually kind of like telling you what kind of makeup is appropriate for a family feast, office shindig, cocktail, soiree. Which we all know are just suggestions and a because New you Year's do you. Eve event. Um, party proof lip, lipstick, you know, it's, it has a little like, you know, uh, you use these tips to make your lipstick last all night long, how to keep the conversation flowing. Five in office makeover, the whole chart like should you go to the party type thing, which is just kind of like you know, it's like you know it goes from hard no to girl yes. Nice. So you know, and it tells you how to cut it out and fold up the post, fold up the little pocket guide to keep in your purse. And of course, we have the uh, the bonus points there that we always get. The play fitty. The play fitty. <laughs> so. That was a uh, November 2018 Sephora Play Box. Did you guys get any of the same stuff in your box yet? Maybe there was one item that everyone got. Leave us a comment down below, or you could send us a tweet. Let us know. You know, how did you feel about this box? I feel like pretty solid. I'm I'm a big fan of skincare, so I'm pretty stoked that we got two moisturizers, which I'm excited to try. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked to try all this stuff. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the like if you did enjoy the video. Leave us a comment with your thoughts. What kind of box did you get? What other boxes do you get? What's your favorite makeup, you know, sold in Sephora? Do you like holiday sets? Do you feel like they're kind of gimmicky sometimes? Let us know. Are they worth the money? Are they worth the money? Uh, what you doing? Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And even when her site returns, because of the many requests I've gotten, I will continue to help with almost all things makeup. Because some people apparently get a kick out of me being here and, you know, you know, my, me and my big burly masculineness talking about soft gentle notes of perfumes so i'm not going anywhere so i'm gonna still come to almost all the beauty stuff hang out talk about makeup i feel like i know a lot more I've yeah i've you've learned been a educated, lot yeah i've really learned a lot yes you know so so let us know did you like your play box and we'll see you guys soon